My son's on parole. He can't be anywhere near a hooker. I need you to tell Abby to stay the hell away from Michael, okay? Carly, just stop. I'm not okay? gonna stop. Jason, Abby was arrested for prostitution. If Michael had been with okay, her, Okay, I could have told back. Michael to stop seeing Abby, and I didn't. If you want to be angry, be angry with me. I just want you to help me. I, I want Abby away from Michael before she ruins his life. Why are you lying to me? I'm not. I work as a prostitute. And you could get in a lot of trouble for hanging out with me while you're still on parole. Please don't do this. I'm sorry. We have to stop seeing each other. Lunch at the Carlisle, drinks at Bemelman's. And I sent two backup outfits to Kate in case. And the tickets? Uh, they are in her portfolio. And the event coordinator has confirmed her name on the list. And her date's publicist has confirmed access. Wow, you did better than I thought. What do you mean? Well, come on, Lulu. You've checked your phone every ten minutes since I got here. What's going on? I'm worried about Dante. Worried as in danger or worried as in Brenda? Both. Oh, you're here to tell me that you don't want to be my best man? No, no, no. I agreed to stand up for you. Good. I just don't think it's safe to have a wedding right now. I, Brenda and I, we've discussed it. She wants to go through with it. I, you know, I, I'm not going to disappoint her. Okay, well, then it's up to me to change your mind. What happened? It's just... It was a dream. Come here, sweetie. No. You know, sometimes when you, you have a dream, if you talk about it, it gets a lot less scary. You want to tell me about it? I was back on the bus. And it started to skid, and people were yelling. Oh, baby. I know what happened was terrifying. I'm just grateful that you're okay. It'll be all right. It was scarier to dream about it than when it actually happened. Mm -hmm. Well, when something scary happens, sometimes you dream about it. It's your brain's way of processing things. You just keep talking about it, and I promise you the dreams won't come back again, okay? Dante told me that Michael was at the PCPD when they brought Abby in, and he saw it, and he almost uh, assaulted Ronnie Domestico. This is exactly what I'm afraid of. I know. I know. Did you bother to warn Jason that Abby's a hooker? Abby doesn't take money for sex. The police thinks she does. Yeah, I know, Carly. How many times did the police pick Jason up for things that he didn't do? Abby is a dancer. She's a stripper, Sam. I know you don't like it, but she's not breaking any laws. And she happens to be really good to Michael. Oh, gee, I wonder how good. Why don't you ask him? Better yet, why don't you start listening to him, Carly? Michael doesn't have to pretend with Abby like he does everybody else. And yes, that's including you. Do you think I'm oblivious? Do you think I don't see that my kid's in pain? Michael doesn't want me to worry. He doesn't want me to blame myself for the incredible mess I made of his life. So Michael acts fine, strong, and steady. And I pretend to believe him. Why? Because for some reason, that's what Michael wants from me right now, and I don't know what else to do. Here's something you don't know, Sam. I'm a mother. So you better believe that I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect him from Abby or you if you don't hey, back the hell Carly, up. Carly, fighting with Sam is not going to help anything, okay? We need to think about solutions. I have done. I don't know what to do. I try paying. 
her off. She won't listen. Hey, you I, gotta I listen. I can't force Abby out of Michael's life. Michael almost assaulted a police officer. If I run Abby off, Michael will turn against me. I cannot let that happen. I'm not gonna lose him. I thought you trusted me. That's not the point. Yes, it is. You could have told me that you take money for sex and I, I wouldn't have judged you. Look, you respected me. Why would I want to ruin that? I wanted to be friends with you. Yeah, you, you wouldn't ruin anything. It wouldn't, it wouldn't even matter. You people, look, people do what they have to do to survive. I, I understand. It's more complicated than that. No, it's not. It's simple. I'm happy with you. You're happy with me. There's nothing wrong with that. I let you believe I was someone that I'm not. And that was wrong. It could hurt your parole. We can't spend time together. I, I can't be around you. Wait, don't do this, please. Okay. Just take care, Michael, okay? I'm not the one you have to convince. Brent, you know, Brenda's stubborn. She, she's always has been. Well, maybe someone needs to stand up to her then. Obviously, you don't know Brenda as well as you think you do. Look, I get where she's coming from. She wants this wedding and she's going to get it. What's the difference if you wait another month or two? That's exactly what I told her. But you know what? What if we don't find the Balkan for two months, two years? There's been way too many delays over too many years. She wants this wedding, right? Really, really bad. She's going to get it. What if you wanted revenge on the person who killed your son? Wouldn't you wait for an opportunity like a wedding to do it? I get what you're saying, but that's why we're going to have extra help at the wedding. <laughs> We've been chasing the Balkan for months, and we, all we have is one wrong turn but, after another. Like I said, that's why we're going to have tight security. We're going we're gonna to lock it down like Fort Knox. Listen. Brent and I, we're going to get married on February 18th. That's what I promised her. Hello. Is this uh, the residence of Detective Dante Falconeri? Yes, it is. Oh. Is, uh, is the detective at home? Uh, no. No, not in the moment. Oh. Well, uh, I'll wait. I, I would ask who you are, but I think I know. Are you are you Theo Hoffman, the lawyer? Ah, very astute. What gave me away? Um, well, Dante told me about you, and you are exactly the way he described. Uh, <laughs> I, I fear you leave me at a disadvantage, Ms. Oh, uh, Leslie Lou Spencer. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, may I come in? I'm... Uh, you know, I, I would, but I, I just, Dante's well, not here, and I don't know. Well, normally I would not impose, but this is about the wrongful death suit. There have been some new complex developments. Okay, yeah, um, sure, come in. You can Thank you. have a seat. Oh, this is Maxie Jones. Hi. Hello. Oh, I gotta get back to the office. <laughs> oh, um, the office is closed. But you know how Kate is. We want our trip to go smoothly, right? Uh, call me later. Uh, can I offer you anything? Some water? We have wine, we have beer. Oh, wine? No. Water. Water would be perfect. Okay. Provided the glass is clean. I will make sure of that. I assume uh, Dante has told you the, about the more uh, complex, uh, compromising uh, details of the case. Yeah. Dante tells me everything. Mm. And obviously you see the difficulties. The two incidents virtually identical. Brenda Barrett clearly culpable both times. Um, but you're supposed to be the best, right? So I'm sure you can handle it. I believe it would surpass even my talents in the courtroom to defend Ms. Barrett and the detective in this killing without her revealing that she killed someone else. I just left Theo Hoffman. He was interviewing Brenda. She told him about killing Alexander. 
How, how the hell did that happen? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she got confused. The similarities between Banovic and Alexander. You were with her both times. Yeah, and every time she talks about the events that took place in Port Charles, the first killings come back to her. Well, if she talks about killing Alexander in court... Then, then we could both be arrested. Well, Diane says Hoffman is the best, and he's there to protect you and Brenda Bow. I'm surprised that you know about the other killing. Well, I don't believe Brenda intended to admit that she uh, killed Alexander. But she is a volatile woman. Perhaps emotionally unstable. And as Dante was with her on both occasions, it's not surprising that she has confused the killings. Um, the other one was three years ago. Almost four, 2007. Ah, then you are aware of the circumstances. Dante feels terrible about what happened. Mm. Well, he doesn't act that way. Brenda Barrett killed her ex-boyfriend, and Dante covered it up and disposed of the body. I've done my research, and the murder of Alexander Janacek is still unsolved. It would be ironic indeed if Brenda Barrett confessed in open court that she killed Alexander and Dante Falconeri was her accomplice. <laughs>